Hi, everybody, and thank you for joining us for today's uh, Viva Edge 2020, uh, covering some use cases and solutions. My name is Scott Cortier. I'm the product manager for Aviva Edge. And today, uh, I, I thought we'd turn things around a little bit and, and show some use cases, pain points, and uh, how to solve those with Aviva Edge. A little bit different than just dumping features uh, on you today. But as we get started, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the product. But don't worry, we'll get quickly into those use cases and solutions, and uh, then some key takeaways as, as we uh, wrap this up. Um, again, a quick overview of Aviva, Aviva Edge. Uh, what what really is this product? For those of you who don't know, Aviva Edge is uh, very powerful, affordable HMI and SCADA software, uh, yet still very flexible, very easy to use, and it can be used in all sorts of different uh, solutions, whether it's uh, PCs, industrial panel PCs, servers, embedded mobile devices, IoT devices, and one of the big uh, features of the product is, is the ability to develop your project once and deploy and run it anywhere. We can run on different operating systems and deploy that in different ways. And I'm going to show you that in a little bit uh, as we get going through here. Some of the main benefits, if you take a look down here, the left side, we have portability, mobility, and interoperability. And these mean different things to different people, but uh, I'm going to explain a lot of this during this presentation. Uh, but I'm going to come at it instead of just dumping on you some features. I'm going to show you why this is a benefit and how this can benefit you. And uh, uh, again, the mobility part of this being able to view and interact with the screens on remote devices, whether it's tablets or phones, or as well as desktops, uh, either uh, at your location or geographically distributed um, independent of where you're at. Uh, the interoperability part of this is, is being able to communicate to many different devices, many different included drivers and protocols. But in addition to the drivers uh, uh, that we have built in, uh, such as not only PLCs, but such as robots, temperature controllers, motion, vision, et cetera. Uh, the ability to communicate and interact with databases, cloud-based infrastructure via MQTT or even OPC. Uh, so many different ways uh, to communicate. Now, uh, uh, the portability part of this, and uh, when we take a look at this, there's a development environment or an integrated development environment, often called an IDE. And that's what we call a Viva Edge Studio. Now, Studio, again, is the development part of this. And you can um, deploy this to really four different runtimes. One that we call a Viva Edge SCADA. Now, that's on Windows desktop or server operating systems. Uh, a Viva Edge embedded HMI for um, Windows IoT, uh, uh, enterprise, either LTSB or LTSC. Uh, and then we can also deploy it on what's formerly known as Windows CE or, or uh, the runtime license that we call uh, a compact HMI. And then even running on Linux, uh, what we call IoT view. And that flexibility uh, really gives you the, the capability to pick and choose and scale. For example, if you're, you happen to be a machine builder or system integrator, you can offer your customers uh, kind of a standard level product uh, a high-end product uh, and maybe a low-end product based on cost, based on size or resolution of the uh, uh, panel PC that you want to use. And, and the other benefit is the ability to develop once and deploy anywhere. So that, that really gives you the ability to, uh, to develop this project once and with little or no changes, often no changes, be able to deploy on different hardware, on different operating systems, different resolution and different size screens. So that's a huge benefit uh, because really when you think about it, your personal product is, is your time and uh, that, that we know is uh, very valuable these days. So uh, this paints a bigger picture. If you take a look here, where does uh, Aviva Edge fit into the bigger picture? Down here at the asset location, now we've shown kind of a manufacturing uh, environment here, but it does not have to be a manufacturing environment. It can be process, it can be infrastructure, it could be utilities, uh, water, wastewater, you know, wind turbines, uh, wind farm, solar, et cetera, and, and being able to then get that information from the edge type devices, the edge of your network where uh, the things are happening, so to speak, and then get that up into other Aviva products, whether it's InTouch, uh, system platform, or into our cloud-based uh, products, 
for example, Aviva Insight and being able to do some, some analytics and uh, understand what's going on in your process and being able to improve, feed that back, uh, get actionable insights, improve that uh, uh, stuff that you're doing uh, every day. Um, so the first use case, first, first here of uh, seven that I have to show you today, uh, many different PLCs and devices. So something that we often hear is we have uh, uh, many different PLC brands and different devices with different protocols. I, I just wish we had one HMI platform that could connect to everything. And this is something that we hear, especially going up against our competition where the number of drivers that they have is often either small or non-existent, and you have to add external technologies or external modules, things like OPC, uh, or, or add on things to get to uh, additional protocols. One of the nice things about Aviva Edge is that, that we have over 100 protocols, over 100 protocols built in for different PLCs. And again, not only PLCs, but uh, things like robots, temperatures, motion control, vision. And in addition to the drivers that we have built in, included, uh, we can also be an OPC UA or DA server or a client. So if we're a server, we can get to, uh, uh, I'm sorry, for a client, we can get to third party servers and connect to other devices. Maybe we don't have a driver for a particular device or maybe a, a particular feature that you need in the driver is, is there or, or manufacturer supplied it. So we can get to that again with either OPC DA or UA. Uh, if we are a, a an OPC server, then third-party clients can come access our tag information. So if you look at the center of this diagram, it's it's really um, uh, Aviva Edge tags here, and and not only via drivers and OPC, but uh, interaction with with web services and databases, and uh, we can even have uh, uh, toolkits so that you have the the need or, or necessity you can develop your own toolkit or your own um uh interaction with our tags and or develop your own drivers as well but uh supporting rest apis supporting different drivers opc built in and again opc is not necessary we have over uh, you know 100 drivers built in you can probably get to the plc or the device or the thing that you need to communicate with so uh, making that uh, kind of easy uh, as you go. So let me uh, hop over to the development environment here real quick and show you. Here's a uh, project that I had just started up. And what I'm going to do is right click and add remove drivers. And here you can see the different list of, of drivers that we have. You can add those to the uh, to your project. So let me just add, for example, Modbus TCP, pretty widely used. Could be Ethernet IP, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, let me add that to the project. Now, another uh, big advantage of this product is that the drivers are mostly independent of the version. What do I mean by that? Uh, that you can uh, use older versions of drivers with newer versions of product and vice versa. Why is that a benefit? You may have qualified or validated a particular uh, uh, driver and want to keep using that even though you, you change the version of the product. Uh, that might be something advantageous of you or, or uh, 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 different variations of that. So uh, that is a, a unique uh, thing that we have independent drivers. Um, so uh, adding drivers in here, you also get the ability to have uh, read and write statuses so that you can understand uh, if, if your information is being read properly. Uh, you can also choose, for example, if you've got uh, uh, bad quality, if something happens to the PLC, you can show question marks in the place if you don't want to show invalid data, for example. And then you also have the ability to enable or disable the driver worksheets. And why that's an advantage is because you can add, we have no license limit on the number of drivers that you can put in your project, and uh, you can turn them on or off as necessary. And this helps facilitate the idea of having one project that serves uh, many different applications. So you can have uh, maybe an Allen Bradley PLC uh, or Modicom PLC, a Schneider, et cetera. And depending on the project, enable or disable the driver sheets 
um, uh, as needed for the particular project. So you don't have to redevelop uh, that uh, interface as that goes. So uh, again, uh, not only the uh, flexibility for the status, uh, but also the ability to have different PLCs at different uh, IP addresses, different locations, and uh, uh, the flexibility to change uh, between those as you go.